Bronchiectasis is a really common cause of cough and daily sputum production. So typically individuals will cough up green or mucky sputum every day. The volume can vary, um, but it, people will cough up sputum even when they're well. Uh, signs that people have an infection will be that there's more sputum, they feel more unwell, they might be breathless, they might have pain and they might cough up some blood. There are lots of different causes of bronchiectasis. Actually, the commonest cause is that we don't ever find a reason. Um, and in lots of people, it's presumed to be due to a prior infection, often a severe pneumonia or measles or whooping cough, um, often in uh, child or young adulthood. Um, it can be associated with other underlying lung conditions, sometimes with chronic asthma, sometimes immune deficiency. Um, so if the body doesn't fight infection well, that might be a cause. And then there are less common causes like inflammatory bowel disease and rheumatoid arthritis and so on. It can cause people to become quite unwell if it flares up uh, associated with infection. And in that situation, people could feel unwell. They might have chest pain, breathlessness or cough up blood or have a fever. Um, often people will be able to manage their bronchiectasis at home with tablet or liquid antibiotics. Um, and if they're more unwell, they will need to come into hospital. And that would be a situation where things could be a little bit more serious, but we have really effective treatments to get people better. Flare ups or exacerbations are managed, um, as I've said, with tablet or liquid antibiotics. Sometimes steroids or nebulizers are needed. Sometimes treatments to thin out the sputum and make it easier to cough up are required. Um, and individuals will often need to do more of their specialist respiratory physiotherapy to shift up the sputum. Um, if people are more unwell and they do need to come into hospital, that's usually because treatments at home haven't worked or because the oxygen level is low. And in that situation, they would usually have intravenous antibiotics. Sometimes we use nebulized antibiotics, um, oxygen, nebulizers and specialist respiratory physiotherapy. The vast majority of individuals with bronchiectasis will have a normal life expectancy. Um, people can generally manage it very well at home. And for most people, it doesn't cause major problems to day-to-day -day activity and day-to-day -day living. <laughs>